Hi, welcome to another episode of the Ruko School. This one is called the interior door upgrade. It's not much of a security upgrade, but we put a Ruko lock in it, so I guess it's an improvement anyway. So, this is what the cutout for a lock for an interior door in Denmark looks like. And this is actually the only wooden section of the door. The rest is more or less just a hollow shell with some glued in paper to keep the whole thing from collapsing. And then there's a thin piece of wood around the edge and the rest is just more or less empty. So, but this is the section where we put in our lock and by default this is this was called the Boda 2014 interior door lock and it has since been copied by various cheap Chinese companies and it's also available from Bill Zimmer and Trio Wing and other companies uh, known as the 2014 and this one by default comes with a key if we can call it a key first of all it's light as paper I'm not sure what it's made out of but it's certainly not iron or brass and unlike the older versions where it just where you used like if we go back to something from the 70s or 60s where we had something like the Rex 3B where when you turned the key you blocked the latch and then you released the latch and then you could use the, the door handle to open and close on so that was what we used to have and before that we had the old old locks that you can see in my path to the oval videos if you go back to the beginning of the Ruko school but we are this one has been around for 20 plus years so let's see what we have to deal with today so we take this lightweight lock and as we can see, if we put the key in, it can turn 90 degrees and then you can take your key out or you can insert it again, turn it 90 the other way and you unlock. So this one has a door handle that's constantly engaged to the latch and then it has a separate bolt underneath that, that locks the door. So if you lose your key and you are stuck in the toilet, you can take a nail file or anything of that kind and put in the hole because all it needs to be is something that can actually turn this section. So I even think we can take this Ruko key and use that to, to lock and unlock. So there is no way this lock provides any means of safety. So it's just a privacy indication. So. So by default, this one comes with, as we do with all our locks in Denmark, it comes with a door handle and it has two holes that go through the lock and then we fit a handle on the other side and it just has two screws that go through like that. And then for the keyhole, they have another set of covers that also has two screws that goes all the way through. and have some nuts on the inside and then we can insert our key and we have our lock. If you don't want to use this or maybe you just want to use this for your toilet and you want to make sure you have a backup way of getting in if you have kids and you're afraid that they're gonna lock themselves in the bathroom then um, you can get a thing like this this is a red green uh, for wake and then occupied indication and this one has a square rod that fits inside 
this the square section of this one. So if we turn this to a green position and we put it in here, fit it like that. Just push it back in position. And on the other side, we can take this thumb turn and then we can use this to lock the door. And now it's showing that the toilet is occupied and when we turn it back, it's vacant. So if the kids are stuck in there and they can't get out, you can just take a screwdriver and turn the screw head and then you can lock and unlock as an emergency. So I, I do prefer the, to install these one on toilet doors. I think it's a much better idea than just a basic key because this way you can also see if if the door is locked before you go over and pull the handle to try to open it to find out if it's occupied or not. So, but this is not about toilet doors. This is about the Rokos. So, let's say you are interested in one of these bed and breakfast type of deals and you want to take a room and rent that out and you want your guests to be able to lock the room and maybe you have more than one room and you want the guests to have separate keys and if you just leave these locks in then any person can just go to the toilet pull the key and open all the doors so we want something else so we go from the 2014 on to the 2016 this is the Ruko replacement version of this lock and as the door comes with the configuration like this in order to get it to work on the same footprint as the 2014 the cylinder needs to be upside down like that so let's see how it would work so we install our new lock and then we take our cylinder and we just put it upside down in here and then we take our thumb turn connector put it in here put the cover plate on and put the screw through we'll go in details about this when we get to the mortise lock so this is just a quick way I mean I'll be going all more into details about these parts when we when we get to the mortises because that's where we really are gonna see these thumb turns and everything in in action and just see if I have a screw bar somewhere just quickly like that and now we can put in our key and then if we turn it 90 degrees the door is locked we can take the key down and pull out or we can insert it again and turn clockwise and take it out and the door is unlocked so now if you want to get in of course you can just kick a hole through the whole door but um, now you can at least see that someone was in your room if, if there's a big hole in the door and otherwise you can have your privacy and on the inside we just fit the thumb turn again and for the outside we'll use an 18 millimeter trim but we'll cover that in the mortise series so now we have an interior door with a ruko and just for the completeness, we can put our 
throw him to back in. So there we are. Interior door upgraded with a new code D12. So all for now. See you later. Bye.